uh, uh, the consequences will be lower tensions, uh, also uh, bilaterally between the two countries and in, in the Yemen the civil war, which I think no chances that it will be resolved. I actually believe that diplomacy is better for everybody, including Israel. Uh, I would have wanted the Americans to be the uh, broker and not the Chinese. I prefer American domination in this region, uh, but I do believe that diplomacy is better for, uh, for Israel as well. Withdrawal of Trump from the JCPOA, uh, the revolutionary guards became much stronger, the extremists became much stronger. I think that any diplomacy makes Iran less, uh, less extreme, and that means that uh, the power, the more moderate powers within the regime uh, will get the upper hand, and I think that's good news for Israel, uh, and it could be good news for the U.S., except for the the, the part that the Chinese are getting deeper into the region, and I would have uh, uh, you know, hoped that it would be the Americans. But I think um, we, we see that the Saudis stopped uh, uh, counting on the Americans when Trump did not respond when the Iranians hit the Aramco site, and the Iranians understood that they could not do deals with the Americans when Trump withdrew from the JCPOA, and that's how the Chinese came in. I think that uh, lowering the tensions in the Middle East is also an American interest. So the Chinese involvement less. I think uh, the timing of the announcement of the uh, Australia, UK, um, uh, US uh, submarine uh, and, and uh, regional uh, cooperation might be kind of the answer that they're not uh, giving up on domination uh, in the world. And why America doesn't want boots on the ground, all their uh, military interventions were a failure, but we definitely we need uh, proactive American diplomacy, and I, I, I would expect more uh, from the Biden administration to be more more uh, involved in the region. Uh, I think the, the original sin was the withdrawal from the JCPOA with the Trump administration, which uh, caused uh, uh, you know the Iranians to feel that they can't really go back to any kind of agreement with an American administration that could do such thing. And JCPOA is not a stab in the back of Israel. I believe that this is it is the interest of Israel. And since the withdrawal from the JCPOA, we see how Iran is getting closer and closer to military nuclear capabilities. The biggest priority in my eyes is the Palestinian issue. It's the interest of Israel. It's the interest of all the region. And uh, we need the Americans' involvement yeah. to get there. The Chinese, I don't think, care yeah. too much about this issue.